I applied my heart to know wisdom, and to know madness and folly. I perceived that this also was a chasing after wind, for in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. Rejecting the treatment. Retreating. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. Let me try and stabilize him. Focus. Listen to the sound of my voice. Recognize that what you're seeing isn't real. Just a picture of the past. No. I can't hurt you. No. No. Damn it. It's not working. Give it a moment, mister. The first time is never easy. We're losing him. That's enough, Mr. Man. We need to pull him out. Now. All right, Desmond. We're going to try and bring you out now. I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are, what you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So, what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. A wise decision. Whoa. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory? Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. <sighs> Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. What if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. But there's a problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the competence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. 
you got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Warning. Data stream unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject 17. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Instructions will follow shortly. The synchronization bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in order to restore system stability. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. Unloading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. While standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. Good. Use your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Animus differentiates between two fundamental actions, low profile and high profile. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high-profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Good. Using your leg button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. While sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. Well done. The Animus will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Now, select your hidden blade. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. So we have a murderer nearby. The dead 
body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed, as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Assassin! Notice Kill how the social Stop status him! icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder and try to break the line of sight. I'm catching up to you! I can hear you! Excellent. The line of sight has been broken. Now, run into the roof garden to hide from the soldier. Good. Your social status indicates that you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. To hell with this. I've better things to do. Well done. The soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. Being anonymous will fill your synchronization bar and make your job as an assassin easier. There are different places which you can use to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Let us continue with the demonstration of Blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Good. Now that you are fully synced, a new ability is available to you. Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense helped your ancestor understand the intentions of people around him. Well done. Remember, Eagle Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The Creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you lose sync, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life or by respecting the Creed. You have successfully completed the tutorial. The most stable memory block will now be loaded. Wait! There must be another way. This one need not die. <laughs> An excellent kill. Fortune favors your blade. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Masters taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. I would not have taken the life of an innocent. What I would have done is follow the creed. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Understand these words. It matters not how we complete our task. Only that it's done. But this is not the way of- My way is better. I will scout ahead. Try not to dishonor us further. What is our mission? My brother would say nothing to me. Only that I should be honored to have been invited. The Master believes the Templars have found something beneath the Temple Mount. Treasure? I do not know. All that matters is the Master considers it important. Else he would not have asked me to retrieve it.
There. That must be the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant? Don't be silly. There's no such thing. It's just a story. Then what is it? Quiet. Someone's coming. I want us through this gate before sunrise. The sooner we possess it, the sooner we can turn our attention to those jackals at Masiaf. Robert de Sable. His life is mine. No. We were asked to retrieve the treasure and deal with Robert only if necessary. He stands between us and it. I'd say it's necessary. Discretion, Altair! You mean cowardice. That man is our greatest enemy. And here we have a chance to be rid of him. You have already broken two tenets of our creed. Now you would break the third. Do not compromise the Brotherhood. I am your superior, in both title and ability. You should know better than to question me. Hold, Templars! You are not the only ones with business here. Ah. Well, this explains my missing man. And what is it you want? Blood. No! Don't! You know not the things at which you meddle, Assassin. I spare you only that you may return to your master and deliver a message. The Holy Land is lost to him and his. He should flee now while he has the chance. Stay. And all of you will die. Men, to arms! Kill the assassin! Skipping part of memory to a more recent one. Altair, you've returned! Raouf, it is good to see you unharmed. I trust your mission was a success. Is the master in his tower? Yes, yes, uh, buried in his books as always. No doubt he expects you. My thanks, brother. Safety and peace, Altair. On you as well. Him to run like that. What's got him so bothered? He must be running from something. Ah. He returns at last. Abbas. Where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of ascent. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. 
Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. There'll be plenty of time for that later, brother. Where is he going? It is an honor. The master waits within. Altair. Master. Come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert? Escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak! Not another word! This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No! You'll do nothing. You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most. But not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish.
Is he running from someone? Altair, come! Al Mualim's not done with us yet. Where are we going? Up there. We've a surprise plan for our guests. Just do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. Stand on that platform, Altair. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless! How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good! Then they shall have it all around! Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! I, ah, oh, oh, my leg! Ah, oh, my leg! Quiet, or the Templars will hear us. Uh, mm, mm, mm. I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. well to drive Robert from here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, 
Do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair? All of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue, unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet. The worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Damn it, they locked the door.
gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You've been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well... It seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and... Well, you're buying time at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy, and it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it, then? <laughs> now that would be telling. Take your time, when moving slowly. I am... alive. But I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see. And then you slept the sleep of the dead. Of the womb. That you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things? Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace. It manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you've brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this will be a waste of my time and your talents. You will see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No. Not yet, at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others track your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. Safety and peace, Altair. You're in my way. Yes, Al-Mu'alim has asked that I assist you. 
remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. He's going to hurt someone. He'll hurt someone at that speed. I wonder what he is. He looks like he's being chased by you, some... You nearly killed me! You want something? Where is he going? That man seems to be in a hurry. I know what I saw. Musun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the Weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. He's going to run into someone. I'm not hurt, but I was very lucky, young man. Please, just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I, I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. Two days attack was but the first, and more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf. See through his lies. Speak quickly, then. I've no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should, too. Their cause is just. We? 
Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Do you stand accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies? How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent, to renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart, but truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. <laughs> You did well, Altair, and have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafiq of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Be busy. I understand. Such wild swings will give your enemy an opening and send you to an early death. He's not the last 
rest of them? I hope so. Still, best not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it. murderer loose. What you see? Your presence what annoys you me. I have many things. Many people come to my house. Dices! Altair, it is good to see you. And in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallim takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. Now tell me where to find him. Surely you remember how to track an enemy. Of course. Learn where he will be and when. But that sort of work is best left for... I understand. Go and search the city. Determine what he's planning and where he works. Preparation makes the victor. What can you tell me of him? Tamir makes his living as a black market merchant, so the Souk district should be your destination. I would suggest you seek out the following places. A small Souk northeast of here, the Madrasa to our east, and in the gardens north of this bureau. Focus on these places and he should become well known to you. I assume you want me to return to you when this is done. Yes. Come back to me. I'll give you Al Mualim's marker, and you'll give us Tamir's life. As you wish. Remember, Al Tayer, if you find yourself in trouble and the city turned against you, return to the bureau. I can shelter you from the storm. Be warned, though. If your enemies are too close, my door will remain closed until you've lost them. Do you understand? Yes. To bring the enemy inside would compromise the Brotherhood. Very well. Off you go. Understand. Yes, I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. I'll let you live.
should have watched where he was going. You can apologize for that. I'm telling you, it's rats. No, it's children. I hear them laughing. Rats or children. Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise! Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. Altair, welcome, welcome. I've done what you asked. Now give me the marker. First things first. Tell me what you know. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? <laughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No! Stop! Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. Oh! Stop! You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me! You must learn your place! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. Something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. But that, that 
absolutely perfect. Where did you learn your craft? Be at peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. Word has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malin. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life! You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life! Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts. Large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. 
I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry I'm late. Yes, we are. Remember to reach out for ledges, should you fall. You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Could have been killed. <laughs> Has he lost his mind? <laughs> Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muallam has asked. Asked that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Tell me what you can about the one they call Talal. It is your duty to locate and assassinate the man, Altair, not mine. You'd do well to assist me. His death benefits the entire land. Do you deny his death benefits you as well? Such things do not concern you. Your actions very much concern me. Then don't help me. I'll find him myself. <sighs> wait, wait. It won't do having you stumble about the city like a blind man. Better you know where to begin your search. I'm listening. I can think of three places. South of here in the markets that line the border between the Muslim and Jewish districts. To the north near the mosque of this district. And east in front of St. Anne's Church. Close to the Babariha Gate. Is that everything? It's enough to get you started, and more than you deserve. Fire in the 
war consume the land. And get an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard, and you will be rewarded. Talal provides. Who knows what the future holds? What tragedies tomorrow may bring? Defend against an uncertain future. Protect the ones you love. Work hard, and you will be rewarded. Talal provides. I have nothing to say to you. Speak to me or speak to God. It's your choice. You won't stop the work he does. Cannot stop it. Stop what? What work? He prepares them for the journey. Journey where? They are held in his warehouse. And when the time comes, they are sent to Akka. Where is this warehouse? And why Akka? Talal tells me what I need to know. Nothing more. It is safer that way. For him, perhaps. Though not, I fear, for you. God curse the one who's done this. Where are you? If the guard won't take action, it falls to us to do something. What you propose is madness, but necessary. How many more will we allow to go missing before the people take a stand? It does not affect us. Not yet. But if we continue to do nothing, it will. And what do you propose? I've watched the man. Learned everything there is to know about his operation. It's all here on a map I've made. He inspects his stock every day at the same time. This is when I'll strike. So you have a piece of paper. It won't save you when you're discovered, won't shield you from their swords and arrows. If all goes well, it won't come to that. Anyway, it's a risk I'll have to take. Wish me luck, my friend. Indeed, you'll need it. Come to waste more of my time? I've found Talal. I'm ready to begin my mission. That is for me to decide. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one.
What now, slaver? Do not call me that. I only wish to help them. As I myself was helped. You do no kindness imprisoning them like this. Imprisoning them? I keep them safe. Preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here. To think that you might see and understand. I understand well Save enough. Save me. Show yourself. Ah, so you want to see the man who called you here. You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light, then, and I will grant you one final favor. What's this? A f Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you. For you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. This will teach you not to trust back. So be it. Beni gözüm kapalı bile yemedim. Beni yenemeyecek. What's wrong with you? Keep him away from me. Death to the infidels! Away with you! Away! Why won't anyone stop you? Are you just let me be! Move! You've nowhere to run now. Share your secrets with me. My part is plain. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al-Mu'alim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your God. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all, for no other reason than it was asked of you. No, you profit from the war, from lives lost and broken. Yes, you would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind, eh? They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No, not yet, it seems. But you will.
Altair, wonderful to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows! Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No! A skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains, I've accomplished the task set to me by Al Muallim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. When the animus shows you are being watched by an informant. I trust you were successful? The slave trader is dead. Yes, the birds brought word to me. War is a dirty business. Labor and soldiers seem to be in short supply. Killing that man has saved countless lives. You've no doubt deprived the Crusaders and Saracens of additional troops. These are dark days, when men's lives are valued in gold, and such small amounts at that. He saw it differently claim they were not slaves at all, if he was helping them. Do you know how it is you can tell a man is mad? They speak to air, claw themselves. No. They are the ones who speak and act as if there is nothing wrong. I don't understand. Few are the men who would admit to evil. Always rationalized. Always explained. So he lied? I was not there. Did not hear his words myself, but yes. If you speak truly, I think he was simply trying to excuse his deeds. I saw them, though. The men and women who would be slaves. They were a strange sort. Old, mad, sick. Weak, yes. What better way to make a soldier than to take a broken man and rebuild him? Give him all he's been denied with the promise of more. It seems a lot of work. It is. But what you get in return is loyalty. Knowing what it was they stood to lose, such men would be loath to betray their savior. An interesting theory. See? There is still much I can teach you. Everyone deceives. Each other, themselves. Learn to pierce the veil, and know that nothing is true. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. It takes time to draw another blade. Ensure your first attack is also your... Watch it, man! Yeah! 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 What would cause him to run like that? Yeah! Where's that going? Please, I've done nothing wrong. Why are you doing this? You're no monk. Your god has forsaken you. Stop this, please. You're hurting me. <laughs> Did that hurt? Don't hurt me, please. You're no problem. Ah, Altair. A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Muallam has ordered the execution of Gagne de Naprus, and so here I am. What can you tell me about him? He is the Grand Master of the Knights Hospitaller, and surely keeps his quarters in their district. Beyond that, I cannot say. I suggest you search the city. 
See what you can learn from the people. Tell me where they gather and I'll see what I can find. The public gardens north of here, or what's left of them, are as good a place as any to begin. There's an abandoned market northwest as well that merits watching. And Maria of Jehoshaphat's church to the west remains a popular meeting place. These three locations should be sufficient for your needs. I appreciate the information, Rafik. It will be put to good use. See that it is. So what you got there? Rubbish. The man had no coin to speak of, just some damn tube. All I found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings. Them's not nonsense, but words and letters. Why is a man putting words and letters in a tube? A waste of tube, if you ask me. Must be important. Give it here, and I'll have a look. Like you helped last time. I ain't letting you steal this. Well, ain't you clever. Have fun with it, then. If it isn't Altair, remember me? No? I learned my craft at the same time as you. Still, no memories of me. Doesn't matter. Al Mualim has charged me with a mission that I am honored to perform. I must test you. What a pleasure. I have hidden flags in this area. Find them and return to me. Be quick. It is such a shame that the old man insisted that I must help you if you succeed. cost you your life. Hm. Let go of me, I've done nothing hm. wrong. Help me, somebody help me. Thief, this will teach you nothing. What are you doing that? What is that doing? Is there a reason? Do you ever have any money? No, please, Ooh, don't leave like this. Just a few chance. coins, please. I'm impressed. Not enough to change my mind about you, but since Al Muelim commands, here is what I know about your next target. Garnier hides in the Hospitalier Fortress. Getting into the fortress will require cunning. That's all I have for you. Altair? 
How fares your search for Garnier? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me, then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Remove this stain from Akka, Altair. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Somewhere you should. Ah! 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 You're a dead man! Over here! Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You other. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. I am so sorry, child. Have you people nothing better to do? Bastard! <laughs> 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 
dream calls to me but before I close my eyes I must know what will become of my children you mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments they'll be free now to return to their homes homes what homes the sewers the portals the prisons that we dragged them from you took these people against their will yes what little will there was for them to have are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wails? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. But then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us. My progress was slowed. But there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. What news, Altair? Gagné is dead. Then you should return to Masayak with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them and experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagné seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something! How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. 
Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. Hi. Should you enter a fist fight, guards will not enter. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both, then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It will be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat, the men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Nukud, the wealthiest man in Damas, Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem, William of Montferrat, Liege Lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed. Arrogance. The slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls that we might better understand their intentions. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Where is he going? He's going to He's run going to Use the action view to gather information. Altair, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakud. What can you tell me about him? Oh, the merchant king of Damas, richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. I do not care what the others think or say. I'm here to do a job. So I ask again. What can you tell me about the Merchant King? Only that he must be a very bad man if Al Mualim has sent you to see him. He keeps to his own kind, wrapped in the finery of this city's noble district. A busy man, always up to something. I'm sure if you spend some time amongst his type, you'll learn all you need to know about him. And where would you have me begin my search? If I were you, I'd start with the Omayyad Mosque 
and Souk Saruja, both of which are west of here. Further to the northwest is Salahadin Citadel. It's a popular meeting spot and has proved a reliable source of loose tongues in the past. Yes, these three places should serve your needs. My thanks for your guidance, Rafiq. I'll return when I've gathered the necessary information. Dirty thief! I'll have your hands for that! What have I done wrong? Tell me, please! Die!